Good morning, folks. Milk Money back with y'all again today. Uh, one of the last videos I showed y'all, we had just got the new loft. I hadn't started on it or anything at that point. Uh, I just got it like a week and a half, two weeks after I had surgery, so I couldn't really do anything. That's been another week or so, so I feel a little better. So we get out here yesterday and today and uh, actually did all this other stuff on it. I've got it finished up now almost about 95% where I want it. But we got the fly cage on it. I've got the inside done. I'll show you all some more of that in just a second. But uh, everybody's always asking how to set up a loft, how to do this, do that. The way I've done mine, I'll show you all real quick. I've got an eight-foot fly cage. It's 35 inches in the back, 24 in the front. I put the Lexapro. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a little see-through tin, a little fiberglass. <coughs> that way it'll actually keep the rain out, but help bring a little more light in. I put a 24-inch uh, door on it. I've still got to bring some chain up here, like on the other loft. Bring some chain up here. That way I can just hinge it down to right here. But right now it's going to hang. But I've got a 24-inch uh, door on it. It's about 12 inches high. Give the birds plenty enough room to, to release out of it. They can come out here and sunbathe during the day. Uh, all that good stuff. Love, like I said, in the back, it's 35 inches, 24 in the front. I try to put wire most of the way all the way around it. I did put a little bit of wood on the side right here. That way it would uh, help catch we had like a, a big rainstorm or something. Try to keep the rain out of the sides. But uh, I put the trap, and I think I'm going to move it. I'm not sure yet. I'm just not happy with it right here. But I've got a barb trap right here for them. And I'm thinking about putting it, moving it back, or moving it out here to above the door, or maybe on that side, but I'm thinking over here. Um, but like I said, that's just the way I've got my particular setup. Uh, let me take y'all around back real quick, and I'll show y'all that, the back side, and then we'll go inside, and I'll show you how I've got the inside set up. But, uh, Ooh. So on the back side, like I said, I just done a uh, <coughs> a simple little deal. I think I went uh, a little four foot, but I've got it to where I can close it off if I need to, if it starts storming, or in the wintertime when it gets too cold. Got another latch over here, of course. But like I said, if it wintertime it gets too cold, or if a big storm rolls up, I don't want it to get soaking wet inside. I can come over here and close this off, keep most of the rain out of it. I said wintertime, keep a lot of the cold out. But right now, I want extra ventilation because it gets hot in the summertime. We're just now getting into real summer, and it's getting up in the, the 90s. Uh, this loft right here all day has actually been cool. I put it in the shaded area here. I told you all before, I put it up under this big oak tree. That way, or acorn, yeah, oak tree. That way, uh, it would have more shade during the day. So usually in the afternoons and first thing in the morning, first thing in the morning, the uh, fly pit on the other side is completely in the sunlight. So in the mornings, they want to get up, stretch, get a little sun, and kind of wake up. Winter time, they want to warm up some. They can get on the fly pit out there and get a little sunlight, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, once it gets... Once it gets hotter during the day, I said there'd be more shade on them. And right now, that whole uh, fly pin in the front, all except for one or two little small spots, is all shaded. If they want to go out there and get some air and then lay in the shade. Let me take y'all inside, and I'll show y'all that. I'll be right back. <clears throat> all right, folks, we're back. Uh, the inside, there are pros and cons to the whole loft. I did, uh, I just didn't have the energy or the time to really build my own. I still want to build another smaller race loft also. But I just didn't have time to really do one right now. So I just went and bought this one and then modified it. But uh, there are pros and cons to it. I do not like that this one is so tall. Uh, I really wanted it to be about six, six and a half foot tall. And instead this thing is in the middle. It's probably every bit of at least 10 or 12 foot I don't like this that high. Uh, also, the doorway on this thing 
is I'm sitting right here right now and it's a good four and a half, five foot door on it. Uh, I had to train the pigeons to go out through the other door here. I don't want them to come out this door because if you do, you start training them that way to release right here. They'll get so used to that. Every time you crack that door, they're going to want to fly and they're going to hit you right in the face. So never train them to go out the door that you come in and out of. Because if you do, you're going to make a big mistake. And you might, you know, if you ever decide to use this law for anything but your racing stuff, like you want to do breeders or whatever, or have a couple extra pair you need to put somewhere and you put them in here, these other birds are going in and out. Those birds are going to follow them right on out too. So never train them to go out the door that you come in and out of. But like I said, I have this over here. I can uh, seal it off. Uh, these over here, I have those set up where I can do those same way. When I cut that out, I made it. Uh-oh. So all I got to do is just uh, put the little switch on it. <clears throat> and I can flip every one of those up. So there again, during the wintertime, uh, block out some of the wind or if we have a big rainstorm or something else. Uh, also, when I go to give them a bath and I put the bath pan over here, I don't want all that water splashing inside. So I can put the bath pan out there, close up a couple of these holes. They can still get out there to it and get them a good bath, play around, splash all the water they want, and it won't come into the loft. So I do like the way I have that designed. Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. As you see, it's just a, a loft. Like I said, uh, I put my perches back here in the back. I've still got to put up a few more perches. Uh, at most, I don't want more than around 30 birds in this loft, but I put uh, around, I think, 20 perches back here in the back right now. I don't have it like 10 or 12 birds come out here at this time. I've got some more that's still in the nest. They'll be coming out for long. But at the most, I don't want any more than 30 birds out here on the race team. I didn't put any perches up front because I said I don't want to open the door up. And they're right here on the perch and try to fly out. So I put them back here in the back. That way they'll stay right here or out in this fly pen. They shouldn't be hanging out around this front door. I had to worry about them hitting me in the face when I walk in. That kind of thing. But other than that, I mean, I like the loft. Uh, the ventilation in here is really good right now. So I'm actually impressed when I, I was kind of scared it wouldn't get enough air through here. This thing would be too hot for them. But it's actually getting really, really good ventilation. Uh... This actually has better ventilation than my breeding loft, which is not good. I got to do something else about that. But uh, if you do notice real quick on these right here, they actually have the little um, vents, the vents on both ends right here. <clears throat> and if I do have a problem as it progresses into summer, if it's still getting too hot in here, I can actually go and get one of the little exhaust fans and wire it up on one end and actually help pull as that heat rises, I can actually help pull some of that heat out, that little end vent. Uh, that way, you know, just help out a little bit more, just pull some of the heat out. I'm just getting tongue-tied today, I do apologize. I'm kind of getting in a hurry and trying to get a video out for y'all. I do apologize about being so long on videos too. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go out here in a second, go get the birds, go ahead and put about a dozen of them in here. And then I'll show y'all once I get the birds in here, show you how it looks. And then uh, probably about the end of the video. All right, guys, here we are back. Um, here's the birds. I said most of them are in a fly pen right now. Uh, if they look a little bit wet, I did go ahead and treat them for mites and stuff. I always do that for moving around new loft. Just so I'll show you also spray another time I actually use, but I went ahead and sprayed them all down real good. Uh, there's a couple of them in here. Like I said, they're still getting used to new loft, so. <laughs> It's gonna take them a little bit, but there's right now 11 new birds. I'm sorry, 11 young birds in here right now. And there's still, I think five, maybe six in the other loft. Um, that's not quite ready to come out yet. Uh, I've got a pair of whites and then some more blue bars. I think a pair of opals maybe, I'm not sure yet anyway. But I just wanna show y'all the, the loft of the new birds in it. Like I said, we'll put a few more out here at the wild. But uh, this is it. And like I said, if I do anything else too, I'll give you updates on it, that kind of thing. But right now, this is what you're looking at. 
So we'll see y'all next time. Bye.